Oh, <laughs> hello there. Don't mind me. I'm just doing my morning yoga before I head out to the seas to plunder, steal, and send souls to the ferryman. Hold on one second while I get some clothes on. Okay, that's better. Ahoy, mates, it's the Cursed Captain here with an advanced guide on how to go about stealing the infamous Fort of the Damned. On this channel, I focus on guides, tips and tricks, reviews, gameplay, and I'm on a quest to become a Sea of Thieves partner, and I cannot do that without your help. I need to reach 20,000 subs, so if you find it somewhere, somewhere deep down in your pirate heart, please consider hitting that subscription button and help me get one step closer. It would really mean a lot to this cursed captain. Now let's jump into this guide, or as some like to say it, let's get our sneaky sneak on. The most important element in any good sneaky sneak is you have to dress the part. Now I know a lot of you pirates like to look a little extra fancy, but the truth is to pull off a good sneaky sneak, you need to make sure you're dressed for success. There are quite a few outfits that you can pick, but at the end of the day you want to make sure that you have something very dark on. So find a combination you like and always wear it. A bonus tip here is if you go barefoot, you are even quieter. Here's how you sound running with boots. And here's how you sound running barefoot. There is a pretty significant difference, so if you want that extra layer of sneaky, go all natural. Now, the next part to any good sneaky sneak is you need to make sure you have the hide emote. If you have not yet picked it up from the Pirate Emporium, stop what you're doing and go pick it up right now. It is free. This emote helps you tuck into the smallest of places and is required for a proper sneaky sneak. Also, I know what I'm about to say may be hard for you to hear, but if you're a larger pirate, it's time. Time for you to go on a diet, and in the most recent update to the game, a new potion has been introduced into the world, allowing you to shred those pounds from the thousands of grogs you have had in the tavern in a matter of seconds. So if you're a fluffy pirate, it's time to drink up, mates. Now, let's talk about this business of stealing the Fort of the Damned. Now that you're all dressed for success and you've cut back on the pirate ding-dongs, when you see that beautiful skull in the sky, the next thing you want to focus on is how to approach the fort. There are three main ways that I like to approach the fort without being seen, and it all depends on where you are in the seas. If you are in the shores of plenty, you want to go around Cannon Cove and approach the fort from the northwest, parking your ship at the Sea Dog Tavern. If you're up near Daggertooth or Galleon's Grave, the best way to approach the fort is to loop around Crooked Mast using this large rock to hide your approach. Park your ship right next to this rock and it's time to go for that swim. And the last way I like to approach the Fort of the Dan without being seen is if you spawn down by Plunder Outpost or Ancient Spire, you want to approach the fort from the south, keeping Crook's Hollow between you and the fort as you approach. You will want to park on the southern part of this island. Rowboats can be helpful in a sneaky sneak, but I prefer to swim. Rowboats can leave evidence of someone sneaking, and if the crew at the fort is keeping an ever watchful eye like they should be, then they most likely will see that rowboat. So swimming is a better approach. But before making that swim, make sure to have the best food available. Meat is going to be your saving grace as it gives you that extra overheal. If you're not sure what food is best or what meat you should have on your pirate, definitely check out my guide video called the Ultimate Chart Guide for Sea of Thieves where I outline all the benefits and healing properties of each item. Now after that long swim, you've made it to the fort and the next question is what do you do now? Well there are a few tuck spots you can go hiding. Some of them are around the rocks in the back of the island, but these spots make it a little difficult to know what is going on, so one of my favorite spots is right here. It even gives you a bit of a place to tuck in. Now on the fort itself, you can hide at the very top of the fort or you can hide on this cliff edge. The most important factor you want to consider in picking a tuck spot is you have to find a place where the skeletons can't get you or a place they won't alert the crew during the fort to your presence. Now these are all great spots to hide, however probably the best spot to hide is going to be on this tower hiding behind the fire. It's hard to get to but it can be done with a sword lunge from the top of the tower. So if you have the opportunity, take it. This really is the best spot on the fort to hide. Obviously with the sneaky sneak there are a lot of factors and every encounter will be different. You'll be able to sneak to the top of the tower 
power with some crews, with others though you'll be able to sneak on their ship and tuck. The truth is, there is no right answer here. You will need to read the situation at hand. I've pulled off many Fort of the Damned steals, but each one of them has required a different approach. If you've gotten this far and you find a good tucking spot, the best advice I have for you at this point is to keep your wits and wait for the best moment. This is where we find out if you are real pirates or just swabbies. The crew just finished the fort, they killed Grey Marrow, and now what? You're asking yourself what should you do? Well, I'm going to tell you that the moment that is going to be your best shot will be the moment they open up the treasure room. That will define what you do. If the crew's first reaction with their new treasure is to blow up the mega kegs, you're going to have to get a little creative. At this point, my recommendation is using your element of surprise and go for the best treasure. Now, pirates don't really like it when you take their stuff, so you're going to have to be extra persuasive. I recommend watching my top PvP tips and tricks video for some ways on how to help convince these pirates to let you take their newfound treasure. Now that's if they blow up the mega kegs, but if they decide not to blow up the mega kegs, you my pirate friend are in business. Your job of sneaky sneaking just got significantly easier. Just wait for these pirates to load these mega kegs on the ship, pull out your favorite weapon and well, if you can't figure out what to do I don't know if you're sneaky sneaking material mate. After this goes down, it really all goes up in the air at this point. You're going to need to rely on your wits and your grit as a pirate to make it out with the treasure. If you manage to kill the pirates, it's time to get your ship. The clock is ticking because most likely these pirates you are thieving are going to be coming back and they may be a little bit angry. So you will want to prioritize what treasure to snag first so you can make a quick getaway. And there you have it, with the proper look the right approach, a bit of luck, and a quick sacrifice to the Waylord, you too can sneaky sneak like the cursed captain. It's another Mega Kagus too! All right, it's happening. You brought this upon yourselves, <laughs> boys! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Beardo, let's get him.